what I'm bringing to you today. As the weather warms up, why not kick in some extra flavor so that this can be a great appetizer or a side dish to your barbecued item, outdoor or indoor. Adding some coconut cream and fresh roasted cumin powder to kick in that extra flavor and essence to this cauliflower bite. You're going to love it, so let's get started. Welcome to Shine with Shoves. This channel is all about making you shine with my healthy diet and building your emotional strength. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates from me. For this, I've taken one cauliflower. Make sure to wash them really well. Break the head of cauliflower into bite-sized florets. Place them in a mixing bowl. Season it well with salt and black pepper. And instead of blanching or steaming, I'm going to use the air fryer and directly air fry to make it tender before coating in the batter. Give it a good shake and now let's preheat the air fryer for 3 minutes under 380 degree Fahrenheit. Now place them in the basket. Make sure they are not overcrowded. Spread them evenly so that they are not on top of each other. And air fry for 6 minutes under 385 degree Fahrenheit. You know, I didn't feel like steaming or blanching and I just wanted to do everything in my air fryer. So that's what I'm trying to do. And this turned out really great. This is just right. It should not be soft because we will be air frying again after coating them in the batter. To prepare this batter, I'm taking 4 tablespoons of thick coconut cream. You can get it from any coconut cream can from the store. In a separate bowl, add 2 tablespoons of gram flour or basin and add 2 tablespoons of water. Mix it really well until there are no lumps. This step is important because if you're going to mix it directly to the coconut cream, you will end up having lumps. So to avoid that, we are going to mix it in a separate bowl and then add this to the coconut cream. This batter is great because we are always looking to see how can we incorporate some good fat so we will be getting that good fat from the coconut cream and some protein from this gram flour. Now to this I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of garam masala, 1 teaspoon of red chili powder and then I'm going to add some tandoori masala. This will enhance the color. So 2 teaspoons of tandoori masala and 1 teaspoon of fresh roasted cumin powder. In one of my earlier video, I've showed you how to roast cumin powder in the air fryer directly. I'm going to put the link in the description below. I'm adding 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric and 1 teaspoon of pink Himalayan rock salt. Give it a good mix. Make sure they are evenly mixed. This batter is going to enhance the flavor and the color to our cauliflower florets. Now I'm adding half lime juice. This is going to give that tanginess. I can already smell it. I'm loving it. And now I'm going to add one teaspoon of olive oil. This is optional. If you want to avoid oil completely, you don't have to add any oil. That's the consistency we are looking for. Now add them to the cauliflower florets and make sure to coat each piece really well. 
cauliflower is a non-starchy vegetable so this is a great option if you're looking for a weight loss recipe this looks perfect now place them in the air fryer basket at this point make sure they are not on top of each other and there is some gap between each piece I'm going to air fry for 6 minutes under 395 degree Fahrenheit first and then flip each piece around and air fry for another 6 minutes under 395 degree Fahrenheit. The settings of each air fryer is different so whatever suits the best make sure to air fry in that setting. Now at this point, it looks cooked, but I still need a little bit of crunchiness. So I'm going to air fry for another five minutes under 395 degree Fahrenheit. Mmm, the color, the texture looks perfect right now. Look at this beauty. The crunchiness, coconut cream, roasted cumin and the tanginess from the lime juice is absolutely delicious. Do give it a try, you're going to love it. Mm. I hope you will like it and if you do like this recipe, do check out my other crispy chili tofu which so many people loved it i'm also going to drop the link in the description below do check it out so stay tuned for another exciting recipe wear a smile and don't forget to shine with shows